The B-2 Spirit and the Tu-160 are both strategic bombers, but they belong to different countries and have distinct characteristics. Here's a comparison between the B-2 Spirit United States and the Tu-160 Russia. The B-2 Spirit is renowned for its stealth capabilities. It incorporates advanced technologies to minimize its radar signature, making it difficult to detect by enemy air defense systems. While the Tu-160 has a sleek design, it does not possess the same level of stealth features as the B-2 Spirit. It relies more on speed and altitude to evade detection. The B-2 Spirit has an impressive range of approximately 6,000 nautical miles without aerial refueling. It can carry up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance, including conventional and nuclear weapons. The Tu-160 has a slightly greater range of around 7,650 nautical miles without refueling. It can carry a significant payload of approximately 88,000 pounds of weaponry. The B-2 Spirit has a top speed of approximately Mach 0.95. It can operate at high altitudes, typically flying above 50,000 feet. The Tu-160 is a supersonic aircraft capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 2. It can also fly at high altitudes with a ceiling of around 50,000 feet. The B-2 Spirit is currently in service with the United States Air Force and is considered one of the most advanced strategic bombers in the world. The Tu-160 is operated by the Russian Aerospace Forces. It was initially introduced in the 1980s, but production resumed in recent years to modernize the existing fleet. The B-2 Spirit is primarily designed for penetrating enemy airspace and delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads. Its stealth characteristics allow it to carry out precision strikes deep into hostile territory. The Tu-160 is a supersonic variable sweep wing bomber capable of carrying a wide range of conventional and nuclear weapons. It is often employed for long-range strategic missions. It's important to note that these aircraft have different design philosophies and are operated by different countries. Their capabilities and potential outcomes in a hypothetical conflict depend on various factors, including the overall operational context, mission planning, air defense systems, and the skills of the air crews involved.